Boards of directors are responsible for making strategic decisions that shape the future of the companies they serve. One of the most critical decisions in a company's life cycle is the decision to sell or merge. Fundamentally, directors are held to certain standards of conduct based on the fiduciary duties they owe to the companies they serve. Directors must act in good faith and in the company's best interests. They shouldn't use their position for personal gain at the expense of the company or its shareholders. Directors must also act with the care that a reasonably prudent person would use in similar circumstances, including being well-informed in their decision-making function. When a stakeholder claims that the board has breached one of these fiduciary duties, courts will review the board's decision according to the relevant standard of review. Board decisions are generally reviewed under the deferential business judgment rule. This rule is often referred to as a presumption that the directors acted on an informed basis, in good faith, and in the honest belief that the action taken was in the best interests of the company. When the business judgment rule applies, courts will assume that the directors acted in accordance with their fiduciary duties and won't second-guess their judgment if the decision later proves unwise. Consequently, directors typically aren't held personally liable for resulting losses unless the facts of the matter are such that no person could have possibly authorized the transaction in good faith while fulfilling their fiduciary duties.